only eating at the Cheesecake Factory for a full day. Everyone knows the best thing here is the brown bread. It's so sweet and soft, and I actually found out it's inspired by a Native American rye bread that's made with molasses. Anyway, I tried this egg roll sampler for the first time. The cheeseburger spring roll had a really nice crunch. It was super cheesy, of course, and the beef was actually pretty flavorful. And this Tex-Mex one had a nice little kick. Like, it was actually kind of hot, and it went really well with the creamy avocado dip. I think this chicken taquito one was my favorite, though. It was so thin and crisp. Um, I was supposed to dip it in the salsa verde, but it was really good with whatever the other dip was. Also, I heard this Cajun jambalaya pasta is like the best thing on their menu and it was super flavorful, but it wasn't as spicy as I was hoping for. But um, the shrimp was actually super tender and the chicken was really good too. Anyway, then our server said his favorite cheesecake was this lemon raspberry cream cheesecake. So I had to try it. The lemon cheesecake was so smooth and really tart and the raspberry sauce was delicious, super sweet. And the lady fingers were so soft. And I was definitely full after lunch but i had to come back for dinner to get the chicken lettuce wraps these are so good you guys you gotta add the noodles and the spicy peanut sauce that's really sweet it also has bean sprouts that add the perfect crunch it's just delicious okay and i was so curious what a chicken parmesan pizza would taste like and i have to say it's actually fire like the chopped chicken breast is super tender the angel hair pasta adds a really nice texture and it's also weirdly like a little spicy i don't know but i really liked it and that's all for today eating like I did in high school for a full day. So in high school, I used to work at this mall and I would always go to Johnny Rockets for lunch because they have the best onion rings and they have this homemade ranch that they make from scratch every day. It's so thick. They're always like piping hot too. And the fries kind of remind me of McDonald's fries, really crispy. Today, I tried this spicy Houston burger that had a bunch of jalapenos and pepper jack cheese, which is my favorite. Also this Chipotle ranch that was super garlicky. Anyway, then I went to Target because I always used to get Amy's pizzas. I love the pesto one, but they didn't have it. So I got the margarita one instead and look at this cheese pull. Oh, and I usually broil it a little bit at the end to like crisp up the mozzarella. And honestly, Amy's has the best crust. It's so soft, but also chewy. I used to eat like a whole one of these every single day. And you guys, this was my all-time favorite dessert in high school, the Oreo Dream Extreme Cheesecake. Oh, in the back is the best part because it has that thick ganache frosting and the crunchy chocolate. It's just so rich and smooth. It's literally incredible. And I couldn't just get one because the peanut butter cup one is so good too. It's swirled with caramel, butterfinger, and Reese's peanut butter cups. And again, I feel like the crust is the best part. It's so crunchy and creamy and nutty. It's literally so good. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. What I eat in a day in Las Vegas. So this was my first day in Vegas and I heard you have to go to Guy Fieri's restaurant for his trash can nachos. It's got jalapenos, pickled onions, this amazing Chipotle barbecue sauce that's really sweet. They're so cheesy. Oh, and they also have house smoked pork that is so savory. Then I had to try their award-winning bacon mac and cheese burger that's made with six different kinds of cheeses and has these crispy onion straws. But honestly, the burger was the best part. It was so buttery. And look at these massive fries. I'm not sure what they were seeing with but they were kind of like sweet and super crispy then for dinner oh my gosh i was so excited we went to barry's downtown prime which is this super classy like old school steakhouse and look at this bread it was delicious oh and then our server said we had to try these buffalo chicken wontons first of all they were so crispy and they had this blue cheese that gave it like the perfect kick also the buffalo chicken filling was just so flavorful and this lobster risotto might have been my favorite thing i had all night it was just so creamy and buttery and rich and this was my first time trying black truffles but definitely recommend and i had to try a steak i got the filet mignon and wow the best steak i've ever had hands down just melted in my mouth it also came with these peppers that added a little bit of spice and some freshness then for dessert we headed to the milk bar to try their famous milk bar pie that might have been the best pie i've ever had it was so gooey and sweet but like also salty and it had this amazing oat cookie crust and i got this massive slice of birthday cake that was like nostalgically sweet and just decadent and that's all for today. Only eating at buffets for a full day in Las Vegas. For brunch, we went to the Wicked Spoon at the Cosmopolitan, which is gorgeous. And I tried their Wicked French Toast, which has berry compote and lemon curd. It's decadent. I also tried bone marrow for the first time, which literally just tastes like a sweet, like rich butter. It's amazing. You can also make your own ramen bowl. And this was my favorite part because the broth was just so flavorful and it had this steak that was super tender and juicy. After that, we headed to the Palms Resort for their Ace Buffet because it was snow crab and prime 
rib night. Oh my gosh, there was so many different kinds of meat and it all smelled so good. And I don't think I'd ever had crab legs before. I literally had to look up how to eat them, but it was super easy and the meat was literally so tender and like kind of sweet. And this is some of the best fried chicken I've ever had. The skin was so crispy and like buttery. And this brisket was perfectly charred. It literally just melted in my mouth. And these honey walnut prawns were just bursting with flavor. They were so sweet and nutty. And finally we headed to the wind buffet, which was absolutely stunning. And I got so excited because I saw they had these char siu bautza that were so soft and sweet and also really savory. Oh, and these veggie dumplings were delicious. The filling was super garlicky. And look at these cute little tuna tartar cones. They were seriously so spicy and the crunchy cone paired perfectly with the soft tuna. They also had this station where you can customize your own taco. I tried this birria one with all the toppings, of course, and it was meaty and tangy. Honestly, just perfect. Then it was finally time for dessert and look at these cute little lava cakes. They were so rich and gooey and chocolatey. And you guys, look at this giant wheel of ice cream. I tried the lychee one that tasted exactly like lychee. It was super sweet and fruity. Then I had to go back for the froyo and the toppings. I added way too many chocolate pearls, but that's okay because they were delicious. They added the perfect crunch to the soft frozen yogurt. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Everything I ate in Las Vegas. For breakfast, we went to the Italy in our hotel, which is basically a big Italian marketplace. So of course I had to get some pastries. And I think a chocolate croissant is one of the best breakfast foods because it's so light and crispy and chocolatey, but not too sweet. And this one was filled with creme chanty, which is basically just whipped cream. It's super fluffy and really, really sugary. I also tried this pomodoro that had these juicy heirloom tomatoes and crispy bacon and provolone cheese that I always feel like adds a really nice sharpness. Anyway, then we went to the desert to ride dune Buggies. Then we came back and explored Paris and then I was literally starving and we found this bar type restaurant that had a bunch of American food. So I was like, sure, I need some cheesy, greasy food in my life. The nachos had this really flavorful braised pork and cotija cheese, which is one of my favorite cheeses now. It's like perfectly salty. And you always got to go for loaded tots over loaded fries because they stay crunchy and crispy while fries sometimes get a little soggy, you know? And the wings were actually decently spicy and I love that. They make your mouth all tingly and then you actually need that creamy creamy ranch to cool your mouth off. It's delicious. And finally, we headed to the Venetian to Chica, which is a gorgeous Latin American restaurant. They had salsa dancers and a saxophone playing DJ. And anyway, that's all for today. Only eating my two-year-old niece's favorite foods for a full day. Clearly she loves French toast for breakfast, but she also loves waffles and she loves chicken nuggets. So I had to get chicken and waffles. The chicken was crispy, the waffle was sweet, and the syrup was so thick. It's just like the perfect food. And this bacon had the perfect crunch. Bacon always just adds so much flavor, you know? And oh my gosh, this one had a giant piece of raspberry butter on top. It was so rich and sweet, but a little too intense for me. It also came with a side of sausage gravy that was so thick and savory. Then I had to Target for one of her favorite lunch foods, mac and cheese. There are so many options nowadays, but she loves Elsa, so I had to go with the frozen one. And I always had a little extra shredded cheese because it just adds a nice cheese pull. And you know me, I had to add some chili oil. I just couldn't resist. And this Momofuku chili oil is like perfectly spicy. Like it's actually hot, but it has that like sesame flavor. It's really warm. Also the mac and cheese was fire. It's so buttery. And I always cook the noodles for less time. So they're a little al dente. And finally, I had to make my special cookies for Olivia. I browned the butter. I toast my walnuts and I chop all my own chocolate. Also, I let my dough chill for 24 hours so they're perfectly chewy and also crispy and nutty and chocolatey. These are just the perfect cookies. And anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Only eating Trader Joe's food for a full day. So I've literally never been to a Trader Joe's before. I got really excited and bought way too much stuff. And oh my gosh, I can see why these dark chocolate peanut butter cups are addicting. They're so rich and smooth and just so chocolatey. And the mac and cheese bites definitely burst a little bit in the oven, but that's okay. I dipped them in this tomato basil sauce and they were seriously so crispy. The breading was super thin and they were really cheesy because they used seven different kinds of cheeses, including cream cheese. Oh my gosh, they were so good. Also, the amount of dip choices there was overwhelming, so I just picked the tzatziki one. This one had these big cucumber chunks that gave it a really nice texture, but it could have been a little thicker and a little creamier. But this avocado tzatziki was incredible. It was tangy and creamy and even a little spicy. Oh, and these dark chocolate watermelon sticks kind of remind me of chocolate-covered cherries. It's like a really unique flavor. The center is chewy, but also really soft, and they just kind of melt in your mouth. And finally, for dinner, I tried these sweet corn burrata raviolis, and oh my gosh, I think this is my favorite thing I had all day. First of all, the pasta was so tender. Also, the corn added so much texture and sweetness, and they were so cheesy too. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.
only eating at woman-owned restaurants for a full day. First of all, look at how cute this brunch spot is. It's also a bakery, and oh my gosh, this was called the Tenderoni Poutine. You guys know I love a runny egg. Also, these fries were so crispy. It was really cheesy too, and it had these giant pieces of fried chicken that were seasoned perfectly. But this is the best sausage gravy I've literally ever had. It was so buttery and savory, delicious. Then for dinner, I walked to this Thai place across the street that I didn't even know was woman-owned, but you can literally look it up on Yelp now. These chicken spring rolls were so crunchy and the sauce was really sweet and tangy. I also got this green curry that was super fresh and like aromatic. Also, it was really spicy. I was definitely coughing, but it was so creamy too. It was just the perfect combo. And I've been craving drunken noodles like all week. They are so thick and chewy, but also like really soft. Oh, and it had this sweet chili sauce that was like a little sour too. So good. And finally for dessert, I walked over to Sweet by Holly who makes the best cupcakes I've ever had. I wish you guys Guys could smell these. This one's called the Hi Hat. It's got this rich, moist chocolate cake and vanilla buttercream on top. That's so sweet. Oh, and this chocolate ganache shell that adds the perfect crunch. It's so good. Oh, and our cashier said this Oreo cheesecake one was her favorite. It has this crunchy cookie crust on the bottom and actual cheesecake baked in the center. It's decadent. And finally, I tried this peanut butter one that wasn't quite as like nutty as I wanted, but I love the crunchy chocolate chips and the frosting was super creamy. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching only eating Puerto Rican food for a full day. You guys, look at this spot I found for lunch. The decor was so cool, and I got a piña buena, which is a pineapple soda. It was really fizzy and so, so sweet. And oh my gosh, this jibarito is literally one of the best sandwiches I have ever had. I'm not even kidding. The fried plantains were so crispy and like nutty. The steak and pastrami were really savory and juicy, and it had this ketchup mayo that just tied all of the flavors together perfectly. Oh, it was so good. And this mofongo blew me away. It had these crispy porks skins that added the perfect texture. It was also super garlicky, like just so flavorful. Then for dinner, I had to hit up a food truck for a tripleta and look at how big it was. Oh my gosh. It's filled with steak, chicken, and ham. It also has french fries inside and it's got that mayo ketchup for that like tangy, buttery flavor. Oh, and the bread was so soft. I also got some alcapurrias, which were made with yuca and stuffed with this savory ground pork. They are perfectly crispy, but like still really soft, delicious. And I gotta be honest, the mofongo here was not as flavorful as what I had for lunch. I probably should have tried it with the mayo ketchup, but that's okay because the carne frita, which is these fried pork chunks, was delicious and totally made up for it. Super juicy. And that's all for today. Only eating pasta for a full day. For lunch, I got this stuffed gnocchi from Trader Joe's. I cooked it in butter instead of oil and I let it get a little crispy on the outside. And this is what they look like on the inside. So I guess it didn't need more sauce, but this tomato basil one is just so good. I had to add some extra. And look at that cheese pull. Oh my gosh, they were so soft and potatoey on the inside, but still crispy and buttery on the outside. Also really filling. Like I could only take a few bites and then I was stuffed. But I was also so excited because for dinner, I ordered takeout from my favorite Italian restaurant they have this garlic bread that is seasoned so well. Literally, my mouth is watering while I think about it. You dip it in their house-made salad dressing, and it's like heaven. It's crispy and soft and tangy and so garlicky. And I know that was cheating a little bit because it wasn't pasta. So back to the pasta. This is their tortellini carbonara, and it's one of my favorite all-time foods because they put so much bacon in it. It's so creamy and cheesy, and tortellini is just so fun to eat. Also, it goes amazing with the garlic bread, of course. And finally, I tried their chicken napolitana, which has these giant pieces of prosciutto ham. It's so savory and the sauce is really like tangy and acidic, which goes great with the mozzarella. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.